In this short video, I'm going to give you a few more tips on working with the Favorites folder inside of Metastock. In previous videos, I've showed you how to set up your Favorites folder, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can control the charts that you're going to open up. Now, once your Favorites folder has been set up, to view the securities inside this folder, just double click on the folder that you want to see, and then you can either double click on the security or you can click on the open button down here in the lower right hand corner. This will open up your chart and then to see the next chart inside the folder just click on this right pointing arrow down here at the bottom called the next security button. Now as I click on this next security button I'll be able to scroll quickly through these charts inside this folder and one thing you'll notice is that when you reach the end of the folder it'll go right back up to the top of the list. Now the other thing you'll notice is that each chart is actually open up with a different set of indicators. The reason that each one is opening up with a different view is that because each one is using the smart chart that's associated with that particular chart. But let's say that I want to open each chart with the same time periods, the indicators, colors, etc. To control that, just go to your tools up here at the top, choose options, and inside this, this is going to open up what's called the application properties window. There's a tab inside here called chart options that you'll want to select and at the bottom of this window you'll see there's a change security section and here's how you can control whether the charts are going to open up with the existing smart charts or you can choose a second radio button and what that'll do it'll pass the settings from that first chart to every chart after that now what's important is you need to make sure that you have both boxes selected underneath here click on OK and now when I click on the next security button you'll see that the settings will be passed to the next chart and every chart that I open up inside this list now will all look the same. So I'm going to go ahead and close down this chart and what's handy about this is that then you can actually open up a chart with a different set of indicators and those indicators will then be passed down. So for example I'll open up the first chart in this list and this chart actually just has a couple moving averages overlaid on top of a candlestick chart. I can zoom in a little bit on the chart and then when I click on my next security, each security after that point will have the same view with the same candlesticks and the same indicators. So let me close that chart down. Then if there's any templates that you'd like to see applied to each chart, just open up your favorites folder, select your folder, and then a quick way to apply the template to the security as it opens up is just highlight it, and then down here in the open button, click on this drop down arrow and choose open with template select the template that you want to see, click on open, and that will open it up with the template already applied. Now this particular template that we're looking at is I've got the RMO over here on the left hand side and I've just got a couple indicators applied to the chart over here on the right hand side but both of these charts are of the same security. So now what's nice about this is that if I click on this next security button I can very quickly scroll through my charts and get a couple different views of the securities at the same time. Now one other thing I want to point out about the favorites folder is a very commonly asked question I get is that when you create a shortcut inside of your favorites is this duplicating the data and the answer is no what the favorites folder actually does it just creates a shortcut to where the data is actually stored so why this is important is because that since this is just a shortcut to where the data is stored you can delete securities and you're not going to do any harm to your data files so for example if there's a particular security you want to remove from it just highlight it hit your delete key and the security is gone and again all you did was just remove that shortcut and the same thing applies to the entire folder if you want to remove the entire folder just select that folder hit your delete key and again all you did was just remove the shortcut to where that folder was located. So learning how to work with the favorites folder can really be beneficial to you to say the least. So I hope that this has been helpful and for more Metastock training please visit our website at www.learnmetastock.com